Number one. At the 2022 New York Auto Show, Deus Automobiles is an unfamiliar name from Austria, but quickly created attention when introducing a fully electric hypercar model with an expected capacity to frighten listeners. This is the product of a collaboration between the Deuce Company, Williams Advanced Engineering, and Ital Design. Dubbed Deuce Vianne, this new electric hypercar will produce 2,200 horsepower and 1,475 pound-feet of torque. According to the manufacturer, the EV will be able to compete with other hypercars like the Remac Nevera with an estimated top speed of 249 miles per hour and an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2 seconds. With the immediate statements, Vian shows that it cuts off rivals in terms of power and is on par in terms of operating performance. The first deliveries are expected to begin in 2025, but not everyone has the opportunity to own it when the production number is limited to 99 units worldwide. Number 2. Lamborghini has just revealed the new generation of high-performance Huracan Technica with a V10 engine developed for perfection in lifestyle as well as racing excitement. Huracan Technica is positioned between the two Huracan RWD and Huracan STO models, balancing daily use and performance on the track. It has an overall length of about 61 millimeters longer than the Huracan EVO, the overall lines are inspired by the Ascenza SCV12, giving Technica a lower and more superficial visual effect. Technica shares the same 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine of the STO, producing 640 horsepower and 417 pound-feet of torque. Comes with a V10 engine is a 7-speed LDF dual-clutch transmission with Anima technology, rear-wheel drive, and rear-wheel steering technology. The Technica can reach 62 miles per hour from a standstill in 3.2 seconds before reaching a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. Number 3. The German company has just launched the 2023 Mercedes AMG GT Track Series which is considered a replacement for the Mercedes-AMG GT Black Series. The track series was produced in just 55 units to coincide with the anniversary year of the AMG division. In addition, this car wears an exclusive manufacturer high-tech silver mango color scheme and red and black decorative details. The heart of the AMG GT track series is the same 4-liter twin-turbo V8 engine as the Black Series. Mercedes-AMG fitted this model with new fuel injectors and tweaked the ECU, allowing the car to produce 724 horsepower and 627 pound-feet of torque. In comparison, the road-going Black Series has 720 horses and 590 pound-feet. The power runs via a sequential Hewland HLS six-speed racing gearbox with adjustable settings for the rear differential. The track series will be delivered to customers in Q2 2022, with prices starting at $405,000. Number 4. To mark the end of the V12 engine, Aston Martin has introduced the all-new V12 Vantage as a goodbye to this legendary engine. The new V12 Vantage is the most powerful Vantage and also the last model to carry Aston Martin's V12 engine. The 5.2-liter twin-turbo V12 engine is fine-tuned to produce up to 690 horses and 555 pound-feet of torque. It has a power-to-weight ratio of 385 horsepower per ton, a 20% improvement over the standard Vantage. Power is transmitted to the rear wheels through an 8-speed ZF automatic transmission, thanks to which this supercar streaks from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour. The manufacturer says that only 333 V12 Vantage units will be produced and have already been ordered. Production will begin in Q1 2022 and deliveries are expected to start in Q2. Number 5. 
MH2 Hydrogen is the first model of Matador from Slovakia with a tradition of more than 100 years in the supply industry, specializing in the production of tires and components for many car manufacturers around the world. The MH2 is powered by hydrogen fuel cells and introduces a unique hydrogen storage technology developed by Technical University in Kosice in Slovakia. This technology allows for more hydrogen storage under much lower pressure, making the car safer and providing a longer range. Matador claims its supercar has 600 horsepower, a top speed of 155 miles per hour, and a 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration time of just 3.9 seconds, and of course, no emissions. In fact, with the proper infrastructure, owners of the MH2 can refill their vehicle's hydrogen tank as quickly as a regular gas stop with an internal combustion engine vehicle. This innovative fuel source solves many of the problems associated with both electric and fossil fuel cars. Number 6. Spyros Panopoulos Automotive of Greece introduced the world's first ultra car with the claim of breaking a series of production car records, including fastest car at the Nürburgring, fastest production car, and quarter mile fastest car. The source of SP Automotive's confidence is its self developed and designed twin turbo 4 liter V10 engine with two versions. Earth version produces 2,049 horses and 1,024 pound feet of torque. It accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds and 0 to 186 miles per hour in just 7.9 seconds. Meanwhile, the more advanced zero gravity version has a capacity of up to 3,065 horsepower and 1,463 pound feet of torque. The company claims it's faster than any F1 car when taking just 1.55 seconds to hit 62 miles per hour and just 7.1 seconds to hit 186 miles per hour. Its quarter mile time is even more incredible when it takes only 7.5 seconds and the top speed is up to 310 miles per hour. These figures are really unbelievable for a car maker that's entirely unknown and has just launched the car on paper. The starting price of Chaos is 6.4 million. The top of the line zero gravity version costs an eye-watering $14.4 million.